to our super chat with Mr. JJ Kutsia. Now he's 20 years old. He holds the position of a hooker. JJ attended the Paul Rose Gymnasium. Um, he represented the first team in both grade 11 and 12. He was selected to represent the Western Province under 18 Craven Week side in 2018 and was further selected to represent the South African school side. Now he signed for Western Province after school and was part of the Western Province under 19 team that competed at the under 19 Youth Week in 2019. He was further selected to represent South Africa's under-19 side that toured to Georgia. JJ was part of the South Africa's under-20 side that was set to represent South Africa at the RB Junior World Championship that was cancelled due to COVID-19. Now he's currently part of the Western Province under-21 squad. JJ, welcome to Super Chat and thank you for joining us. How are you on this Wacky Wednesday? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm well, thank you. I'm hoping that you are going to bring me a like since my first game. I mean, I wasn't ready. I'm sure also you weren't ready. But with this conversation that we're going to have, I am sure and guaranteed that at least you're going to bring me some luck. So with that said, what's the hardest thing you've learned about um, Genius Zim? About? Um, your gymnastic career. The hardest thing that you had to learn and what was the difficult thing with um, juggling, juggling, school and that oh juggling school and rugby i think most like the biggest the biggest thing you have to learn is just time management just giving attention to the right areas at the right time because everyone everyone wants their piece of meat and everyone wants attention so to just not burn yourself out and just focus on what's the, what needs to be done at that time and then moving on to the next things as they come. Mm -hmm. You've also signed for the Western Province after school and you were part of the Western Province under 19 team. How have you been able to monitor both your school life and also this career and how did your parents take this? Because I think at a very young age, a lot of parents want you to just concentrate on your studies. I uh, know my parents actually were very excited um, about the contract and about me playing rugby. I think they every time I come home they just ask questions about training and everything. So they're really supportive. Yeah. So it was it hasn't been that tough to balance the two because of the support I have at home. So they make it very easy. Mm -hmm. And what would you say your your most cherished memories of being in? your career of gymnastic and also having oh as your career of, of rugby and also having to uh, the moments that you most cherish about this career oh the, it's it's a difficult question because you don't really want to pin it on specific moments but i think just in general like having playing with your mates and and oh, just being able to like enjoy yourself instead of um, just feeling pressure to to perform and to and to like meet standards. There's um, that's also a part of it. But being able to enjoy the game with mates and everything, that part on its own is just that's that's probably the best part for me. Now, JJ, I understand that you were part of the South African under-20 side that was set to represent South Africa at the RB Junior World Champions, but it was cancelled due to COVID-19. Um, so far, as you've said that today you went for training, are you guys preparing for this should anything um, happen at this point? Preparing for the for the World Cup? So, mm -hmm. Oh, no, there's, I don't think there's any um, preparation for that this year. But we just, I think everyone is just keep keeping on doing what they're doing and just staying ready for if it happens. Because you never know with, with times now how things are going to play out. So I think everyone's just keeping ready. Mm -hmm. Also, please do tell us about your experience of competing for the Under-19 Youth Week. Oh, the Youth Week. Oh, that was... It was a bit of a, it was a weird setup of the of the week because um, at the start of the year we didn't really know we were going to have a tournament and then and then they dropped the week on us that um, with the three games here and then the final being played there as well. I think we did we did we did well in the week and then our wheels came a bit off in the final when we lost against the Bulls. But I think 
Oh, it was a it was a great experience, and yeah, I think I think we did it. We did well there, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Made made a lot of new mates, and no, yeah, I think all of us really also grew as a as a as a year group, and also like as individual players. Now to get more uh, of, to know you more and also our viewers at home, um, I would like us to play a quiz because I think I need to get to know you more of that and also our viewers at home. So are you ready to play this quiz with me? Okay. Um, juice or water? Water. Uh, shoes or plackies? Plackies. <laughs> Pizza or pasta? Pasta. Um, would you say SUV, truck or a sports car? Obaki. Obaki. Um, yeah. Sunset or night? Sunset. And what's your favorite cheat meal? Cheat meal? Mm -hmm. Yo. <laughs> uh, I have to be ice cream. I can't go without ice cream. Ice cream. So, with all your teammates, which one? And I, I'm looking for a story actually. So, if you have you ever had any like a misunderstanding with your teammates? And if you've had, what was it about? Without even mentioning the names. Oh, misunderstanding. Um, I don't. I, I can't. I can't really say that I have, or I can't think off the top of my head mm -hmm. one that has been like so noticeable or noteworthy that that I can remember it off the top of my head. I don't think I've had a like a a, a disagreement or anything like that um, in the team. There's always always competitive edge and things going on at training but I, I, I can't really say that I've had a teammate that I didn't get along with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now what is your hidden talent that I think a lot of people don't know about? Hidden talent? Well I'd probably have to say I think cooking probably. <laughs> oh can you cook? So what's your favorite yeah. meal that you normally would cook maybe for your girlfriend or at home when you're just like chilling with your buddies so what's that meal that is your go-to meal? Oh, I go to I probably make pasta. She knows it's my favorite. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like a braai as well, and yeah, I just I enjoy it. So. Mm -hmm. Do you have any tattoos? And if you do, how many? I do not. You do not. Is there a reason why you don't have any tats? No, I just I don't know. I don't. I haven't. I haven't seen one or thought of one that I want. So. Mm -hmm. uh, and any piercings? No. And what's your favorite part of your body? My favorite part of my body? Mm -hmm. Um, your, I haven't, I haven't It can thought, be your uh, eyes, it can be your <laughs> nose, it can be your hair, your ears. Uh, okay, I'll have to say, I'll say my eyes then. Uh-huh, your eyes. Uh, and, and, and do, do people normally, normally like comment you on your eyes? Um, not not exactly that they that they look good, but <laughs> they like very dark brown, so my eyes almost look black in some at some stages. So yeah. Yeah. So when you go, um, when when you coming back from training, you coming back home, you are tired. You go to your mom or you find your mom. What's that one meal that you're like? I feel like that meal, that homemade meal that you know your mom kills it. Oh, there's this one, uh, we actually had it last night, this is <laughs> one, um, it's actually pasta, so I think I feel like I keep coming back to pasta. To pasta. But, uh, so is it yeah. pasta maybe with meatballs or pasta, mince or what is uh, it? Any type of pasta actually, but the, but the specific meal we had, um, I think it's it's some type of, it's, it's chicken with pasta, some type of peanut type sauce, but uh, it's really nice. <laughs> Now, JJ, someone who's young who's sitting at home who also wants to expand his rugby career, what would you say, what's the one key to make sure that they prosper? Well, the one thing, I, there's a lot of, everyone says, like, work hard and and just um, keep doing what you're doing. And it sounds, it starts, sound, starts to sound generic and like a cliche, but that is basically the only that's the way that you can that you can achieve you just keep working hard mm -hmm. um that's the way you achieve but i think the one thing that people um need to remember you, you can work hard but if you don't get the opportunity then you won't be able to use all the hard work um you've done 
So I think patience is mainly the key in um, prospering, especially in rugby. You just if you don't have an opportunity currently, then you just need the patience to keep working hard and to wait for when that opportunity comes that you're ready. Yeah. Now, in the next five years, where do you see yourself? I mean, you're still very young. There's um, a, a, a lot of uh, young rugby players who normally say they want to play for the Sharks or the Stormers. So, in your plans for the next five years, where do you see yourself? Next five years, hopefully, I'll be done studying by then. Um, and I'll obviously be playing for the Stormers. Um, yeah, that's mainly I, the main. The main goal is just to be done studying. I think mm -hmm. that's that. That's what needs to happen. Yeah. Well, your favorite TV show, JJ, is it Super TV or Super TV? <laughs> <laughs> well, if those are my choices, I've had to Those say, are your yes, choices. <laughs> Definitely Super TV. Well, JJ, thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it right here. Um, we will actually keep on following you in the next time, uh, as soon as the games resume. Also, you need to relax because you had your training today, and I hope that your meal is ready so you can just go have some something to eat and relax as to continue your day. Yeah. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Well, guys, that our super uh, chat host, JJ, who is a rugby player. That was a, such an awesome chat with JJ. We do appreciate you. Thank you so much.